What's good, YouTube? Me, it's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome to a brand new video. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100. I think I just broke the game, bro. I just found the best all around build. It does literally everything on the court flawlessly. This is my 6 8 bully point guard build. I bully people in the paint, in the post, shooting, playmaking, and also defense. So, this build does everything on the court. I'm telling you guys right now, this may just be the best all around point guard you guys ever seen this year. Only thing about, about it right now, he's a 6. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta drop this video before I make it for you guys, but I would never show you guys a build that I wouldn't consider making or ever make. So this build right here, bro, gonna take over the game very quick, bro. Just pay attention. Let me get 10 likes on this video if you guys wanna see some gameplay and everything like that. Also hit the subscribe button if you're new. I think like 75% of you guys watch anyway without subscribing. Come on, gang. At this point, you might as well just hit the sub button. I'm gonna show you guys a builder. We're going to rebirth, create your own build. You guys understand the deal. Height, you're gonna go with 6'8. 6'8 is the best all-around point guard height this year. I hate to say it, bro. I didn't want to get to this point, but it might just be as good as a 6'9 was in 2K23. 6'8. For the weight, we're gonna go with 185. That's the weight I went with in the wingspan. You can go with that max wingspan, bro. This build's able to defend all five positions. All right, so let me show you guys how to upgrade this build. But I want to give a big shout out to my boy Reese, man. That's my boy. If you guys want to know where the originator came from, I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna just add him up. You know what I'm saying? Add him up, add him up. This is where the originator came from. So if you want to see his version, bro, his version's like his own playstyle, and it's actually tough too. But I was looking at his build, I was like, yo, I gotta remix this somehow. I gotta make it like my own, bro. But this is where my inspiration comes from understand i don't even like tall guards but i was like yo, this is disgusting he pulled up on me but i was like hey but look let me show you guys how to upgrade it for the driving layup we're gonna upgrade this thing to an 84 i upgraded this to an 84 you guys you guys can see gold acrobat um, pro touch hall of fame scooper giant slayer um spin cycle two steps so this build's able to drive um it's not like for, for i'm just gonna give you a spoiler right now this build doesn't have um driving dunk it doesn't have driving dunk but it is able to dunk the ball so um, no driving dunk. You're gonna upgrade this to a 36. If I'm not mistaken, my boy Key told me that with a 36 dunk, you can unlock, I think, like a dunk package or two. Um, I don't know which one, but you know what I'm saying? For the driver dunkers out there, this build ain't gonna be no LeBron dunking out there, but you're able to get the quick drives. I'm telling you right now, layup's enough. You can make a lot of tough layups with this rating right here. So go with that 84. 84 layup is really good. This is just to be able to finesse the build, right? We wanna be able to finish the ball, but we also wanna make sure we have a lot of good stabs everywhere else. Just, just trust the process. I'm, I'm telling you right now, just let me cook. I got y'all, boys. So 36 dunk is enough to unlock us. A dunk package or two, I believe. Standing dunk, we're gonna upgrade this to a 73. 73 allows us to get precision dunker, aerial, fast switch, and rise up. All the badges we need to get standing dunks, you understand? Now, why CJ, why go standing dunk instead of driving? It doesn't make any sense. Let me put you guys, let me show you guys the deal. Post control, I go, I didn't even think I was gonna do this. You're gonna upgrade this to a 93. Now, me personally, I'm not doing this just to be able to post up, but at the same time, bro, this gives my build another element, bro. My, I have another element to my build. You get gold unpluckable, so you don't even need the high ball handle. Like, when have you ever seen a 6-8 without gold unpluckable? You feel what I'm saying? So, 92 post control, amazing. Um, we're gonna be able to get, you get gold drop stepper, hall of fame post spin technician, and we're gonna get post fade phenom and post playmaker. Just bear witness, bro. I'm telling you right now, this opens another element to the build that makes it a bully guard. This build's gonna be bullying people. The small guards out there, bro, just switch. You know what I'm saying? You might as well call switch, but you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna do that so easily. We're gonna get to my shooting and we're gonna get to the playmaking and everything like that. So finishing wise, this build's amazing. We already talked about that, but we also finessed a key badge, which is gold unpluckable. Amazing, we finessed it. For the shooting, um, you're gonna upgrade your three pointer to a 76. 76 three pointer is lower than usual. We get bronze and silver badge. Might not look appealing, right? wrong we're gonna be able to upgrade this with our mid-range our mid-range is gonna be an 84 we get gold catch and shoot silver you see that you see the one up you know what i'm saying your boy has been in the builder i just been finessing bills for the for like a little bit of the year you understand so now from bronze and silver we went from rags to riches if you understand what i'm saying we went from bronze to silver and gold you know what i'm saying we finessed it gold catch and shoot if you want to get gold you can go with that 86 mid-range you have to lower your wingspan a little bit just trust me this is the version i went with and this is all i need this is amazing so this is a really good build right here i'm able to cook up it would uh, um play lock down so this looks like more like a dangerous offensive build the funny thing is like this build isn't just an offensive build this build does literally everything. we're able to score really good in the mid-range and shooting we have an 84 green window now we have an 84 mid-range size three-pointer green window so we get a lot of the access to the jump shots that we need so amazing now for the playmaking let's get to that so since we will a post control which is very cheap for uh, a post score i'm not gonna lie a 92 ball handle costs way more than a 92 post control so we saved a lot of bad attributes by doing so 
Now for the ball handle, we're gonna go, or the pass accuracy, sorry, we're gonna upgrade the pass accuracy to an 80. An 80 pass was enough for me. Now, honestly, if I really wanted to, I can lower my main range just a little bit and upgrade my pass to an 87 to get that bronze bailout, which would be pretty cool. Um, I feel like I might go with another version of the build eventually, but the way I went was an 80. An 80 is solid, I'm able to get valid passes. I think I can get a couple pass styles too to be able to make the passes faster, but it's all about playing smart. If I'm playing smart, I don't even need to bail out the ball. I just have to make the right play and bailout is what it's called a bailout it's a it's a bailout position so i just gotta play smarter in my head that's the way i think so really good ball handle we're gonna upgrade this to a 85 85 ball handle go ankle breaker we already get gold unpluckable we're gonna get handles for days blow bys physical handle speed booster all these but man this is just watch dog we're gonna be good um a lot of good baddies that are good for dribbling and isolating so we're six eight moving like this i hope you guys understand this build six eight so <laughs> this ain't your small guard this is a really good tall build build um, speed with ball, upgrade this to about a 76. That's what we need for um, speed booster and blow buys. We're gonna get these baddies real soon, so just pay attention. That's all you're gonna need for the playmaking side of things. We're gonna get to the defense. Defense, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. This build could dang near be a lockdown build if you wanted to, dog. It's, this this the craziest part. Like, why am I able to do all this stuff, the playmaking and able to play valid defense? Like, it don't make sense. I don't understand. So, this might be one of the most dangerous builds this year, if not the interior defense we're gonna upgrade this to a 72 a 72 is gonna help us to unlock silver anchor at some point so that's really good as you guys can see 72 we're able to get stops we're able to make the switches that we need to um if the big man's trying to finish we're able to you know at least get contest and we're gonna get the baddest that we need for it perimeter defense we're gonna upgrade this to an 85 an 85 perimeter as you guys can see will allow us to get silver clamps um all these silver good defensive baddies we're gonna get some of these other badges with our physicals but 85 perimeter defense really good i feel like this is enough all you need to stay in front of a defender and i od'd it i'm not yo i'm telling you right now i'm not playing right now i ain't gonna lie I'm, i see y'all lockdowns trying to rip me in my small guard i'm gonna be i'm gonna join the way too i want that 91 steal give me that give me all that bro give me that 91 steal go interceptor go glove go right stick ripper give me that right now so we're able to hold on hold on let me let me let me let's sit down let me just analyze this for a second you're telling me that get gold glove go unpluckable go mini magician amazing finishing bro what can i not do tell me right now what can i do what can i not do this build does everything bro this build does everything not to mention um this build's gonna get silver anchor too we're gonna go with that 87 block you know what i'm saying yes sir ski defensive rebound um just to save stats i went with a 65 you know what i'm saying we get we still get bronze rebound chaser a 65 is pretty solid i will we'll figure it out we'll go with a 65 for now and see if we can lower it finesse it later for the speed we're gonna upgrade this to an 81 this allows us to get speed booster on silver, hyperdrive silver, um, just good badges to cook, I understand. Um, to unlock gold speed booster, you need a 92 ball handle. We don't got that. That's all right, we good. I don't, I don't even need it for real, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys. Um, acceleration, we're gonna upgrade this a little bit more um, to get silver blow buys and stuff like that. I think the lowest you can go for silver blow buys is 74, actually, oh, 73. So that's pretty good, but I don't want a low acceleration, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna go with a 79, the highest that I'm able to go with. Cool, I'm able to cook up and go fast. Um, for the strength, to keep it a buck, this build doesn't have the highest strength. I think I went with like a 60 for right now. We'll go with a 60 for right now, just to make sure that we have enough for everything else. Um, we need that vertical for chase down. So, and I gotta put some points on my stamina. So like I said, the strength is going to be the iffy part. I'm gonna lower my rebound to a 60 to make sure I get uh, bronze rebound chaser still. How much stamina could we get now? 80, okay, it's cool. So I do gotta lower my strength a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's it's one of the most, the things that pain me. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I wanted that high strength to be able to be a full bully, but we'll go with that stamina um i like to dribble so i want to make sure my stamina is valid but you know you don't have to have the, this high of a stamina you can go with like a 94 93 to make sure you get these baddies right here so i feel like the only thing that's substantial for me personally is going to be my stamina and free throw i'll put my stamina free throw to a 65 then stamina to a 97 as you guys can see we got our build we got ourselves a complete point guard build i just want to re-go over this stuff real quick look at all these baddies that we get man look at all the baddies that we're capable of getting this looks like this is amazing i'm gonna keep it above this is amazing for a build like a guard build bro any way that you can get this build even more bully like bro would be it would be good it would be pretty good maybe lower the stamina to a 93 maybe the pass down to a 78 and then we can get our strength up to 
It's 69. Damn, we might have to lower our wingspan. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on. I think the lower the wingspan, you get more strength, which is funny thing is. But I think that'll be straight because now we get box out beast and black down punisher. I'm gonna lower my free throw to a 60, bro. 71 strength. We get a movable enforcer. All right, smooth. I feel like this is the best we can do. I'm not gonna lie. This, I, I'm pushing it to an extent. I don't like the 74 acceleration, but if you want to be more of a bully guard, bro, go with this version right here. I, I like to really cook up my builds and see, like, yo, what else could we really do with this? How could we make this even better? So these are two versions of the build. You don't have to have this high of a layup, even honestly. Like, I like to have my layups but you don't need it you can go with an 80 layup and put it somewhere else hey but you guys saw my version man this is the way i'm gonna go i'm, I'm done pushing it if you want the high strength go ahead go ahead and finesse it like this this might be probably the best way you can because you don't lose any badges but you lose acceleration which does hurt but at the end of the day bro we're able to do everything that we really need for a guard to do and we got ourselves um i think an inside out something inside the art threat my fault so this is an amazing guard build we can bully everybody we're able to just dominate to be honest and I feel like if you play with like a popper or something, bro, you're never gonna lose. You don't even need to switch. Like you got all the stops you need. And on offense, you have so many tools that other guards can't even tap into. It's insane. But let me know what you guys think of this guard build in the comment section below. But I'm not gonna lie, I am considering making this build. I wanna make some tweaks to it. And if I do, I will showcase you guys everything. Yo, in a world that it's hard to trust people, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I think something that we can trust is if we're working on ourselves becoming a better person, that we can be better for everybody else and we can make things better in our own situation. So just trust that. There's no way that if you work as hard as you could to be a better person that better things better results would come through that so that's my advice man i just want to leave you guys with a daily advice in the meantime i think this video can help you guys out in becoming a better 2k player